welcome back everyone to the channel as always i appreciate y'all and joining me today's video we are going to be talking about vinyl wrapping more specifically wrapping your pickup truck now this video is geared more towards the people who are on the fence about whether or not they still want to do it themselves if you want to wrap yourself type deal you know a little diy perhaps this will show you at least what to expect you know the expectations the what's to come the do's and don'ts of this whole process because I had my fair share of don'ts and I want you all to avoid those mistakes to try to make this thing as clean cut as possible we'll go ahead and start off with my baby here this is a 2018 f-150 XL it's a base truck it's a fleet truck guys nothing special hence the Oxford white now I ended up wrapping this thing in 3m's satin black 2080 series uh, with that said now, let's go ahead and get into the finer details. So let me start off by saying that vinyl wrapping may look intimidating, may look tough to do, and sometimes it is, I'm not going to lie, but generally speaking, this is something you can figure out. This isn't rocket surgery, it's not brain science, guys. However, it is still a bit of a delicate process. You will need time and or patience. If you have both those things, then you're in business. In terms of time, this isn't some sort of 10 minute ride. This is gonna be at least two, three hours on a component depending on your skill level. And in terms of patience, well, sometimes the vinyl wrap may not cooperate with you. You might scuff it, you might tear it, it might fold in on itself. And at that point, you just wanna rip it off the truck, ball it up and chuck it as hard as you can. But, but you don't. You keep trying, you figure it out using trial and error. And now hopefully at this point you've already vinyl wrapped certain bits, smaller tidbits maybe, interior stuff or something like that. Uh, if not, go practice on flat surfaces, go, go wrap your refrigerator doors or something just so that you can get comfortable with it and just see how the vinyl wrap behaves. Uh, because there are certain characteristics to it. Moving on to my favorite part of the job here and that is preparation. It's actually my least favorite and I hate it, but it has to be done. Anyways, before you wrap a vehicle, you want to make sure it is washed top to bottom. So make sure you have that two bucket method down. And then before you even cut out the vinyl and lay it down, you need to make sure that the component you're working on is clean and clear, folks. Get some isopropyl alcohol and wipe it down. If you have an air compressor, hit it up with some air because vinyl wrap is like a magnet it will attract those dirt, rocks, and dust particles, and it's gonna show. So you don't want your truck looking like a teenager's face with little acne marks and bumps on them. So more bad news here, folks, is that you're gonna have to disassemble your truck. There's no other way around it. You're gonna have to take it apart, like you saw, removing those emblems, badges, headlights, taillights, door handles, window trims, mirrors, all that stuff that would get in the way needs to go. When you're vinyl wrapping, the point is to have a flat surface and not have to work around things when wrapping, guys. That's what makes it very tough. Now, if you want, you can, but it's not gonna look great. Uh, I'm speaking from experience. You're better off using that time to just take it apart. You spend all this money on vinyl wrap, you might as well go the extra 15 miles. I also did end up wrapping the construction truck which has an 8 foot bed. Now that was a lot of wrap, that's a lot of material right there. I ended up using 10 foot rolls on either side of the bed. So all that stuff guys you want to measure out, leave at least a foot to play with on either side there. But as I mentioned when you order vinyl wrap it comes in a standard height size of 5 feet. So it's a 5 foot tall roll and then depending on how much you order is how much it extends outwards. So. So the prices of wrap will vary simply because there are a ton of different options out there. 
there's different finishes satin matte chrome pearlescent uh, there's color shifting ones there's even uh, textured wrap I did my friend's Evo 10 with brush metallic he ended up getting around 45 feet which cost him around 700 bucks and you know I got 75 feet of my wrap and that's me 800 bucks so you can see where the uh, the difference in prices shows up especially with manufacturers 3m being one of the bigger companies out there they do a bunch of different stuff so 800 bucks for 75 feet is uh, actually pretty decent I highly recommend that you get a bunch of different samples first and take into price and consideration as well when you're doing that stuff because that's exactly what I did I got a bunch of different samples a bunch of different colors that I was interested in doing all of them obviously in the budget that I was trying to you know stay in the budget guys I ain't trying to go overboard here's a pretty good example as to why you want to remove things from your truck when vinyl wrapping I was doing the passenger side fender and I uh, got a little lazy. I didn't bother removing the grill and headlights as I should have, uh, but I did remove that little trim piece below the headlights and grill, so give me some credit for that one. In the end, didn't matter. I still spent a great deal of time trying to tuck the vinyl wrap behind the headlight. It was a very tight fit, doing all these precision cuts and putting my knife midship to the test. Looking back at it, I probably should have just removed the grill and headlights and done both fenders at once. last thing I wanted to talk about guys was your primary weapon this is your go-to this is all reliable this is loyal to the soil and of course I'm talking about your heat gun this is what you're gonna be using 90% of the time obviously so you can stretch that vinyl to wrap it around those complex corners and body lines uh, unless you live close to the equator guys then you don't need that extra heat source but here's an example I'm doing the Evo 10 with the brush black metallic and I think it was starting to fold or form bubbles on me and look at that a little bit of heat brought it back to life. That is what I'm talking about, guys. So if you're just starting out, heat is your best friend. You're going to be on that thing. Watch me cut this. This bit, I think I had an air bubble on the arch part of the bed. I'm pulling out the vinyl after sticking it down, guys. That's how friendly it is. Boom, heat back in business. That easy, guys. Last thing, this is probably more of a warning from the heat gun companies, but you obviously will burn yourself. That gun is stupid dumb hot. And I've already had my fair share of burns, and you would think that I would have learned my lessons from all those things, but uh, no, no. That being said, the heat gun will disintegrate the vinyl wrap, obviously if you have it really close to the wrap itself. Uh, so what I would recommend is you just get a piece loosely attached to something, aim your heat gun at that thing, and just play around with the distance, see how it reacts, and you'll get a better feel for it, uh, obviously. These guns do have a low and high setting, so it's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal, guys. Uh, what else? We'll go back to tips here. This bit, I am doing what I like to call the roll around, where you try to fold in the vinyl wrap around sharp corners like that, those curves, those hairpins. Um, in this case, the wheel well. Pretty simple process. Simply heat and with your thumb, slowly advancing, going further into the wheel well, tuck the wrap 
and that is how you get maximum stickature. So that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned a little something out of this and hopefully this swayed you to vinyl wrap your car or truck guys. It's worth a shot. Anyways, this was just an overview. I just wanted to show you uh, what, uh, what you'll encounter. Uh, give you a better idea in case you are first attempting this. I know it can be a little scary and daunting because it's a big task and there's a there's a definitely a lot of work to it but you know guys have fun try and have fun with it you won't but try if you have any questions about vinyl wrapping leave them down below in the comments i'm sure somebody with more experience will uh will help you out there uh, or if you'd like to add chime in throw some more tips in there feel free all that leave them down below if you want to see more vinyl wrapping stuff uh there's plenty of videos on the evo 10 there's plenty on the 2013 F-150. That one had the 8-foot bed. Uh, a lot on the 2018 F-150. And there's some in the Subaru too. So if you're still curious about vinyl wrapping, feel free to check those videos out. As always, I appreciate y'all. Peace and take care.